What's up, Aries placements, guys, goddesses, and everything in between? I appreciate all of you guys to be here. Some of you, it's time for you to forgive someone. Uh, that's the sign that is playing, and the, I think literally that's what they say that before. Um, if you are new here, uh, thank you. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your energy. I send it back to you 10 times. Ten Look, 10 times. 10 times. Okay? We're going to go ahead and jump in here, get some general messages, some career messages, and some love messages here. All right. Thank you. I was giving six, like that was the card number. So, since I got six, I'm getting like movement. So, some of you could be moving. Um, it's also six is active balance, beauty, harmony, peace, recovery. Um, this is resolution after conflict. So, some of you could literally be forgiving somebody. All right. All right. We got heart to heart conversation. Right. Alright, we got clean eats, modifying diet, healthy lifestyle cho choices, nurturing body. I'm not gonna pick up no more cards. I just decided. Setback, facing a loss, off track, delays. That's a little worse. So maybe you guys have been experiencing some setbacks financially. <clears throat> I just heard in your health journey, or like like maybe some of you have reached some some of you have reached some level of a plateau or something like that. I have heart to heart, deep conversations, uh, intimate discussions, blunt and honest. All right, bounce back, perseverance, overcoming obstacles, making a comeback here. Okay, so you guys are in a place where you're about to make a comeback. Okay. All right, we should have two more cards coming out. I'm also getting somebody couldn't go against you for long or something like that. Okay, hold on. So we got no chill in the reverse. Oh, we got sis. You are bad. <laughs> okay. So, uh,. Uh, it says no chill, overreact to unable to be tame, uncontrollable feelings. This is in reverse. I feel like a lot of you are in control of your feelings or whatever you feel about situations or people. Um, and I also feel like people used to try to put this on you that energy of your ass always spazzing, hermit mode, me time, retreating in solitude, certain, certain things through. This is in reverse. I feel like you guys are coming out of that. All right, we got Netflix and chill, chill day, quality time, intimate moments. Masculine pride, toxic masculinity, meeting manly expectations, trauma bonding. Okay. So some of you could have been in some sort of situation like this, or maybe you currently are. Maybe you, I just heard some of you are removing yourself from that. Some of you are Netflix and chilling by yourself. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this is. All right, thank you. You guys can be dealing with uh, people, and I'm, I'm getting like these just people in your life, not necessarily like a romantic person, uh, but people in your life that could be the cause of certain things. I got C E S H T B N C and H. I already said H, H and M. I already said H, but uh, some of you could also be dealing with a Virgo placement, or you have Virgo heavily in your chart. We got the web weaver. Weave and build a brighter future. Make those connections and create new opportunities that can make your life better. This in the reverse here. Okay. I feel like this is something that may have been, been difficult for you in the past. May have been difficult for you to network and make connections here. Some of you could have just walked away from some sort of uh, opportunity in regards to like a career or something like that. Page of Swords here. 
in the reverse. You could have been dealing with the air sign here or someone that was kind of immature here. And so I thought, yeah, y'all could be dealing with someone that was immature here. And that's why you had to walk away from something. I'm also getting like you change your lifestyle choices definitely in regards to a person uh, that you could have been dealing with here. I'm hearing like raw sex here. Um, okay, is this? Okay, so we got the five of cups here. Uh, in the reverse and the five of swords here in the reverse. Somebody thought that they were going to set you back with something. They thought that they were going to make you... This the energy of somebody thinking that you were going to regret leaving them or you were going to regret leaving a job or something like that and you didn't. I feel like you're coming, you're still moving forward. Like you're, you're blocked from this. Yes, yeah, it says, through the darkness is the potential for you to transform your life into more than you ever thought possible, right? Because you're moving towards something else that's better suited for you anyway. All right, what's the five of cups, five of swords? Definitely look up the number five, five, five. The three of cups in reverse. Yeah, like I said, this is the separation of something. Somebody jealous of you, too. And it's like, I don't want you back. I don't want to deal with you back. Some some of you could be getting an offer to go back to a job or back to a person. And you're like, no, I'm good. Okay. All right, give me heart to heart. So I need to start reading one card at a time. <laughs> I swear. Okay. Alright. Alright, this is the rescuer. Uh just when you felt like giving up, someone will enter your life and assist or support you in your great time of need. Eight of cups here in the reverse. Okay. Mm. I feel like this is somebody that has not changed. Though. I'm gonna be honest with you. Whoever this person is that's trying to offer you some sort of assistance, you already like left them at some point, and this person hasn't really changed. So you take that shit with a grain of salt. Yeah, the confuser. See what I'm saying? The confuser. It says you might be you might not have a clear path and that's perfectly fine. Let go of the need to know and embrace uncertainty. Right. Yeah, because I feel like that's could be where you guys are right now. You don't necessarily know where your path is leading, but you're okay with that. The warrior, um what's that? Illuminate subconscious fears to defeat and command respect of of your enemies. Discover your warrior spirit spirit and stop second guessing yourself and your intuition. All right, give me one for the rescue and the eight of cups in reverse. Okay. All right, so we got the plastic. Allow yourself to be more authentic and differentiate your internal uh, motivations and external out influences, right? This person wanted to change you. This person wanted you to become something specific to them. Like I said, it could be a job. The sex worker, discover the places in your life where you are selling out your talents, power, or yourself for personal or financial gain. What did you say? The side piece, there's a third party uh, involved in this situation or someone else's actions are going to influence the outcome, right? Nobody got control over your future or how things are going to progress for you. So don't let anyone try to convince you of that. Somebody could have red hair here. Someone could be thinking about surgery. We got the nine of wands here. You're strong here and you're protected. 
It says angels are providing protection while spiritual changes are occurring around you and guiding you to your true path, right? Like all of this is about your path, something about where you're supposed to be in life and what you're supposed to be doing. More of that red hair coming out. Alright. Okay. I don't want to protect you. The Romeo, what you desire cannot be obtained at this time. Loosen your grip and surrender your desires to the universe. A lot of you definitely left someone. I feel like this person dirty. Okay, they're going to bring an apology, but yeah, we're not taking those. Yeah, Six of Cups, Nine of Pentacles here. Are they coming in for this apology? I just heard they don't think they did anything wrong. The chariot, nine of pentacles. Maybe you maybe maybe uh you have money and this person wants money from you, or they feel like they can do things with you, like they can um they can have something with you. I'm and the truth is playing by Peachka. Yeah, so, yeah, this could be a cancer placement here. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see the five of wands. Yeah, somebody mad you don't want to argue no more. That's one of the things, too. Six of Cups in the reverse, this could definitely be someone that you've known for quite some time. This could be somebody in your family, soulmate connection here as well. And also, it's because you're not, I'm, I don't want to reconcile. I'm good. I'm good off of the situation. Somebody mad at this shit, though. Yeah, the morning, you're not crying about it. In the reverse, a recent loss brings a period of grief and reflects on what has been lost and give it a new meaning to a much stronger. But you don't care. Seven of Pentacles. It's like, excuse me, a little confirmation belch. It's like you're moving on. Like, I already know what this is. I don't need any acceptance from you to a pinnacle's decisions. Eight of eight of swords, right? Because you felt trapped in that. That's why you left it. Because you felt like you were stuck in, with this person or this situation here. Okay. Something too like it was up and down here with this person. So it was like, am I really losing anything here? And like, I don't see any uh major arcana here or like um what is that called uh like even court cards but this page so it's like you're dealing with somebody oh i'm sorry major arcana is here it just feel like yes it is the cherry but that's only about your progression and you moving forward and what this person sees that they could do too but it's not about you you know what i'm saying like in this relationship or the situation with this person and again even if this is a job situation the same rules apply all right this is just the energy that's coming to the forefront okay here it says stop shuffling so hard look at the sun like i said you made your decision and you're not going back you stop stop confusing yourself baby no some of you guys are healers. It's a very smart energy here. A seer. Some of you could be uh, readers or something here. Be sure to take time for yourself. Okay? Be sure to take time for yourself. Okay. The fighter. It says, a falling out disagreement or conflict will arise that will tip you to defend yourself. Avoid being drawn in. What I say? It's like, no, you're not arguing with nobody. You don't, you don't want to. You already understand that. You're over it. Spirits and saying shit at this point. So we're, we're going to move on from this one. Go to the love and then we'll do some of the career. All right. And let me see. Let's some love. How many? Oh, and I used a crystal, just if y'all was wondering, to verify what I'm hearing because sometimes I have in the past discounted my own um, uh, ability to hear. So I just clarify that with that uh, just to make sure that I'm on the right path. All right. Yeah, and then 
and they said four. And four is that that number is all about protection, stability. Let's see which one get picked up. Is it this one? Okay. Is it patience? Yeah. Okay, so um Okay. So we have uh, magnetic souls, your sacred souls are instantly drawn towards each other. That's in the reverse. We have Enchanted love, a sacred bond that is divinely guided and harmonious. That's in the words. Playfulness. Playtime is essential for relationships. Have a little fun. Recapturing romance with your partner. That's in the words. Then we got exciting news. Good news is on the way. Whether it be a pregnancy, an engagement, or moving in together, get excited to celebrate. Oh my gosh, y'all. So somebody may be pregnant with somebody's baby that they did not even want to be with no more. Baby. Yeah. Spiritual awakening at the reverse. Like this person could have been blocking your energy here. Blocking your growth here for your ascension. Yeah. This person was meant to help you do something, but you weren't meant to stay with this person. You know, uh, this person's energy did not match yours. I'm hearing it enveloped yours here. Okay. All right. Yeah, this person could have not had... Okay. Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles um, and the Seven of Wands here, this is the energy where I feel like, you know, you weren't really defensive. You really wanted this romantic relationship with this person to work, but it wasn't very much guard grounded. And it couldn't really, I feel like you already knew that it, was, it wasn't going to last. I feel like it was whirlwind though at first and you thought that it was. For some of you, this person, like this was something, a lesson that you were supposed to learn, okay? I'm also hearing that you learned it slow. Hmm. Also, um... Hold on, let me just hear what I'm hearing. You might learn that you're pregnant very late so that you have to have the child. So I'd advise you to go um, get a test done. Okay. Yeah, if you get a test, you'll know, but outside of a test you're not gonna know so i advise you unless you want to be that i didn't know i was pregnant person that, no don't do it to yourself you will not know uh taurus aries energy with the knight of pentacles uh virgo virgo taurus capricorn with the ace of pentacles aquarius leo scorpio and taurus with the wheel of fortune 9 13 on the clock it's 12.33. The gossiper, someone is talking behind your back and creating drama. Don't reveal too much as it may get in the wrong hands. That's a reverse. Why, why is that there? I, for some of you, this person is acting as if they, they stopped talking to you. 
uh for others it's the energy of this person feel like you guys still have an opportunity to get back together so they're not really stressing it right now maybe you guys do a lot of breakups to make that type of shit i don't know um with the devil here that's capricorn's energy again that's more so of like obsessive energy i also feel like you probably had sex with this person without protection so this person is definitely in that type of energy um mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yo. What's the devil? You had sex with this person on your cycle. What's the devil? Mm -hmm. What's the devil? Queen of Cups, you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Gemini here. Mm -mm. Oh, wait, this part, this is like, okay, they, they, they are very much infatuated with you, baby. Queen of Cups. The sun here. Or at least they think they are. I don't think that it's real. Leo energy here with the sun. I also feel like this person could be depressed. They could have their own like issues here. This person could have called you spoiled. Or felt like you wanted too much from them. Alright. Okay, the thief, someone is trying to steal something you value. Pay attention to what is what may be taken. Could be money, ideas, or a relationship. So, okay, so somebody could be taking money from you here. Um, the high fine here in the reverse, Taurus is energy. I feel like you could, you could have. Mm, nah, this is this, these are your gifts. These, this is your ability. Okay, so like if you have the ability to manifest, right? This person is keeping you from being able to manifest. If you have the ability to, um, shit, hear, this person is making it difficult for you to hear. Whatever your abilities are, this person dampens them. Okay. Please only take what resonates with you. Two of Wands here in the reverse, King of Cups in the reverse, the mirror in the reverse. All right, the mirror says everything is, is a mirror. What what is in your inner reality will reflect to your outer reality, right? And vice versa. Yep, and the King of Wands in the reverse, I mean, King of Cups in the reverse, that is, uh, what's that, Aquarius and Pisces energy. So you can be dealing with one of those placements that have it in your chart. Some of you have one of those moons, and that's why that's that energy of this person being able to um, tap into your abilities like that and the two of wands. Like, this is something that I feel like even your, like, progression and wanting to move forward, you're not doing this because of this person. Okay. The ten of the, the will of fortune. All right, the Four of Cups, the Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, you're missing out on opportunities. Or this person is forcing you to miss out on opportunities here. But it don't matter because you're bouncing back from this here. It's just a cycle, just a period here. For some of you, that could be it. Like, it, it's a cycle. Like, it happens so often. Like... And you're noticing that it's because you're around this person. Yeah, the Ace of Cups here. Again, with that, those uh, bringing like new beginnings, new love, all of that. And also your abilities are that Ace of Cups, that water energy. All right. We got Cabin Fever. You might want to download that. That's the remix. The Achiever, what I say? You can't do shit. In the reverse, this is projects and investments will prosper. Keep fighting and you'll have victory. You have the ability to dominate others. You can't do shit with this person. 
which is why you removed them and then you were able to bounce back. It may take you a little bit of time to get that shit off the ground, but I feel like, yeah, you'll be good. Alright, y'all, I did not want this to be this long. The sexual one. Sexual energy is oozing out of you. Someone may speak, spark your sexual desire, leaving you wanting more. That's going to take some time for you to care. Uh, the uh, death card, Scorpio energy. Some of you can deal with the Scorpio placement. But well, something is transforming within you. Okay. And again, the end of a cycle. Okay. And this is because you separated yourself from whoever the fuck that was. Alright. Right, the five of wands. Mm. Why is why is that? So I feel like it's the energy of somebody not wanting to let you go. Are you feeling like you're stuck with someone? For some of you definitely got a kid with this person. Somebody got red hair for sure. Through the darkness is the potential for you to transform your life and more than uh, more into more than you ever thought possible. Somebody don't want that. Somebody don't want you to be able to transform your life. Yeah, the hunter in the reverse. Use focus and patience to achieve your goals. Venture out and destroy that which was standing in your way of success. And that's because it's this person. This person is standing in your way. Which is why the hunter is faced this way. That's also an energy of you not needing to know who to fucking direct this shit to because you already know them. Okay. Some of y'all could be dancing in the kitchen. Alright, the rescuer. Just when you felt like giving up, someone will enter your life to assist or support you in a, a great time of need. I, I'm really getting like, this not a person, this like a guy, like an a ancestor or some, someone. You know, uh, five of cups in the reverse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you need to embrace uncertainty, not knowing everything, not necessarily knowing how shit gonna work out. Just be, and, and things will happen as it should. Okay? And I'm getting, like, money gotta be a big deal because for it to pop up in this message, like, that's kind of different. Because uh, that was a love message and it decided it wanted to still come out. So, okay. Let's see. Do you have anything to tell them in regards to their finances? So we got the page of wands. So yeah, messages. Are you getting downloads and shit at this time? We got the justice seeker. As you dig deeper and explore the truth, you'll discover that things are not as clear cut as you previously thought. This isn't something you figured out yet. Some of you could be cutting off a Libra or you need to, a leap or a Libra placement. Here is the alchemist. It says, change is taking place, transforming bad situations into gold, and bursting the limitations that bind you. Right. All right. The shaman, uh, the spirit world is trying to contact you and wish to have a close relationship with you. What I say? Open up to their wisdom. Right. They trying to move your ass. Um, Aquarius energy with the star, healing faith, inspiration, self-confidence, creativity. Right. Which is why you you were coming out of Herman Mall to get some shit done. All right, let's see. Some of you about to get a lot of offers during this time. Use the energy from Aries Aries season to move forward. I just heard. See, I am looking at heart chakra on the screen. Some of you, your heart chakra is what um, has to do with you being financially stable. Okay, so. Keep that in mind. Do some fucking guided meditations or something. Okay? Give me... Uh, okay. Stop.
stop fighting the messages that you're getting. Stop being defensive about the downloads that you're getting from your ancestors and gods, okay? You're too aggressive or something, like. Huh. Okay, spirit. for the seven of wands in the page what i said the ace of cups yes it has everything to do with that and this is you about being defensive in regards to your heart space you gotta allow the energy of abundance to be able to come towards you you have to be open to it and i'm getting it. it first starts off with your heart yeah you may not have a lot of water in your chart or maybe you got too much water in your chart. The, yeah, the wheel in the reverse, the wheel of fortune with the ace of cups. For some of you, this is an actual water sign that's keeping you from getting something here. And I feel like you already know this, though. Or a water placement. Shit, or a um, uh, fixed placement. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Uh, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Aquarius. What's the Ace of Cups with the Leo? The Protector in the reverse. See what I'm saying? Okay, I, I it's it's so funny. She probably gonna wa uh, watch this. Cause I got an Aries friend, and I just gave her a message in regards to let her know, like, um, if if you if you tell, okay, if you tell animal control to come out right and get something out of your house, right, get a snake out your house, right, they're not gonna take the snake that you have caged up right they're not coming to get that fucking snake i don't i don't care what you say they're not coming to get that fucking snake so if you're asking for god or your ancestors and gods whatever to remove something from your life that you are protecting they're not coming to get that shit they're they're just not so keep that in in my in mind okay all right the villain what is that it says, someone is working against you to disrupt your success. Be vigilant and protect yourself against the evil eye. I can't make the shit up. I've been saying it. <laughs> the whole fucking reading, y'all. Not listening to me. You acting like you can't see. You know the truth about your situation. Believe in your psychic powers and follow your hunches as it leads you forward. Baby, I can't. 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 I just cannot. <laughs> The mother, it says, be kind to yourself and search for beauty and happiness in your life. Allow yourself to experience pleasure. For those of you that were not that were not supposed to like um, for those of you that have some sort of spiritual calling, don't worry, you're not gonna be pregnant. <laughs> It's everybody else. <laughs> I think it could be it for y'all. Okay. Okay. That wasn't funny. What it kind of was for me? I don't know. Uh, there is a third party involved in this situation, or someone else's actions are going to influence the outcome. Oh. Some of you could be having issues with a mom. Some of you could be. Uh, like your child's parent be taking them to court dealing with some sort of court or legal matters i'm also getting somebody could have had a baby outside of y'all situation give me a mother in the side piece Topic. Some of y'all got some mental shit where we can't, because like this crazy. 
I can't get one message. I, it's all of them or not. Good time to learn a new skill or try something new with focused attention skills and talents will dramatically improve. This is the reverse. Some of y'all don't want to go back to school. And that's the problem. Because you know that you're supposed to. Some of you feel to be chemists, herbalists, doctors, psychologists, photographers, models, how you talk to yourself is what is going to be the outcome, okay? So if you're having a lot of negative self-talk, know that that's going to be the outcome for you in your situation. Also, if I start putting information in regards to like, no, oh, Spirit said don't say that, I'ma just do it. <laughs> this shit kind of, I don't know. I'm about to say that one kind of stagnant it. And I usually like how that one smells. Three of Cups here. Cancer placement is on y'all ass. Okay. Keeping you from transmuting energy. Eight of cups. Fuck some of y'all are life path eleven. Life path eight, life path three. Some of y'all walking away from this shit so you can you can do what the fuck you need to do. You abandoning this situation. Okay. Look, okay now. Come on. I heard no and I was just clarifying with baby. Okay. Eight two three. Queen of Wands, your energy, baby. Ambitious, popular, vibrant, confident, powerful, sexy, strong. Right, take a charge. Once you leave this motherfucker, once you get away from this person, some of y'all need to stop uh, partying so much. Queen of Wands, the eight. The saint, prevail upon your good nature because the light of your good intentions and good deeds will shine through, period. Some of y'all definitely supposed to be a doctor or something. You see how she in them scrubs? I'm about to get up off of here. 37.50 on the clock. 12.52. The Knight of Swords here. That's Aquarius' energy. They share that with Capricorn, though. Uh, la, 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 la. Capricorn, is that it? Yep, it's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I feel like when this whole situation takes place, you, you're going to, or you're already getting a lot of uh, downloads here. But, again, it comes in regards to, like, your heart and you being able to heal, like, to have a certain level of confidence that you need to have in order for you to be able to move forward. Forward. Okay. The reincarnated, it says something from your past will make an appearance and must be dealt with in order in order to move on or make progress, right? Once you once you get over this like little hump, you you don't have to deal with somebody or something anymore. Right? Like I said, temperance here, healing, right? Because some of you are healing an unproductive relationship and moving forward from it. Like I said, some of y'all, y'all have very good in intuition with the high priestess here. You already know what it is. You just have not been listening with the rebel. More about this here. The plastic 
the plastic. Allow yourself to be more authentic and differentiate your internal motivations and external um, external influences. Okay. Some of you go look, listen to my last spiritual, spirit, my spiritual Aries message. Okay, because some of y'all are in a place where it's like you don't want to take up the mantle for something. Yeah, you don't want to take the mantle for something, but you need to. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You're trying to go and do your own thing, baby. It's, it's not gonna work the way you think it is. The Ten of Wands, burden, see, burden, responsibility, martyr. Okay, now play with yourself. Don't play with your guides. Okay. All right. Look, Elevation by Lizzie Jeff. I can't make it up. So, okay. The star. Look, I just heard I have premonition and something. The Ice Queen. Don't chase after things or people that have left you in the cold. Practice the subtle art of detachment, right? And that's you healing. You know? Some of you, this could be a mother figure. All right, the rescuer here. Right, in the reverse, because this person never saved you. They never came to help you. And that's also, I feel like, something that y'all need to heal from. Not being able to rely on people in your life that you felt like you should have been able to rely on. Oh, y'all, I'm hurt. I'm going to get off here. I, I, let, me, let me just, the gospel. Yeah, this person talk about you other people they always got something to say negative oh the workaholic here maybe this person doesn't work um or maybe you're not working right now it says get your life back into balance whether it's working too much or too much play get clear on your priorities i feel like maybe this person's priorities were not you when growing up or something like that okay Yeah, the two of cups in the reverse. Like, this, like, you over whatever this relationship is. Um, or you've, like, removed yourself and detached from it. But you're still, like, holding on to some level of, like, uh, pain when it comes to it. And that is what you really need to let go of. Here, yeah, hang that in the reverse. Like, you're refusing to surrender that feeling. You see what I'm saying? You can have Pisces placement. But you act like you don't care, but you care, baby. You care. All right, let's, um, I wanted to give you at least, a, like, an oracle card, y'all. Y'all next message will not be this long, my dad. I, I just came back, so I'm a little windy on the delivery of the messages. My bad. All right, let's see. Okay, it says, Step out, out of your comfort zone, North Node. Some of you need to figure out what your North Node is. That's so funny because mine's in Aries. <laughs> um, I think it's back here. Yep, went right to it. It says, um, there's a strong feeling when you get this card that it's time to leave the past behind somehow. Well, we've been saying this whole message. That's crazy. Well, it's not crazy. It's just what it is, but, you know. Um because you're headed in the right direction if you want to be happy and fulfilled you need to get going towards doing the things that scare you within reason this card is about living in your life purpose said that too which is possibly what you what you've asked about it's urging really y'all gonna let me read this message it's urging you to dare to do something different with your life and your direction to take action so are you willing to follow through and lead the life you are incarnated to live? If you finally find the courage to make the leap, there's a good chance you'll come to yourself, you'll come to ask yourself, what did I wait so why did I wait so long? I know I'm headed in the right direction. That's attuned to the moon. Additional meanings for this card. You're you you're headed for something which feels like destiny. You need to face the a fear and get over it. Time to stop obsessing about someone or something. Stand on your own two feet. You've got this. The teaching. The North Node is where the moon crosses the ecliptic going north. It's a karmic point. And on the horoscope chart shows us that we need to do 
it shows us what we need to do and where we need to go with our life to find satisfaction, fulfillment, and happiness. The North Node is the karmic astro astrological point that reminds us, to paraphrase Andre Gide, that in order to discover new oceans, we have to be prepared to lose sight of the shore. Period. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.